Hey guys, as always, a big could you do to each of y'all. I want to talk to you about this registration of one billion Rudy Tooties. It ain't good and it is unconstitutional and I believe, I'm not a lawyer, but I would also believe that it's illegal. I'm going to get you updated on that and a couple other areas, things that are going on right now. I'll give you some resources that you can chase if you want to chase a couple different things and read more about it. But there's a lot going on. We are opening this month with a whole lot of nonsense. Buckle up, here we go. This big bunch of nonsense is brought to you by my friends over at Hidden Hybrid Holsters. I've been using them for years. They are not just totally comfortable, they're also totally hidden. So hide your you know what and be comfortable all day long. Amish leather is gorgeous and it lasts absolutely forever made by Craftsman in Canton, Ohio. Again, I've been using them forever. New channel sponsor for this month, Hidden Hybrid Holster. So big thank you to those folks and a big thank you to you for every thumbs up. Appreciate that. Every thumbs up is awesome. All right, I wanna do the, this one dead first, which is this whole idea that the ATF, the genesis of this was back in the fall. The GOA had uncovered some documents to show that, hey, the ATF was probably looking like they were documenting transactions in 4473. Well, now we know, thanks again to the GOA, the GOA's been killing it in the last few weeks, that there is about just, just shy of a billion that are not just being tracked, but also are in a searchable database. One difficult thing is we throw those words around millions and billions. The word billion is, is it's big, like it is exponentially big. And yeah, I know somebody smart aleck is gonna say it's a thousand times more. It's, it's a lot, a billion different 4473 transactions. You're in there and I'm in there. It's, it's trackable and searchable. I know a lot of folks are going to say, duh, people have been talking about it for years. Now, the reason there's this whole, and this may be something you may not hear on other channels, there's this little bit of a tension is because it's illegal to do what they are doing. It's unconstitutional and it is against current firearms laws. But of course they've done it. So some folks have always said, of course they're doing it. And other folks said, well, they can't do it. They need to spend their budget elsewhere. A billion record gun registry, 920 million. That is a lot of 4473s. A bunch of y'all are in there. I know you people. Y'all are in there a whole bunch. Those are rookie numbers. Pump those up. Yeah, it's crazy. So we'll be watching that. All right, for those of y'all that are following the CRS and the Matt Hoover situation, my understanding is, is it is in prog process. I now have the actual filings against Matt Hoover. If you missed it, I did cover it. He's a YouTuber that has been picked up by the U.S. Marshals, and it's just nonsense. And we've been going through it. Other folks have done videos on it. There is one section in there that talks about why Matt Hoover was picked up and why they're targeting him as well because that product sponsored his videos. He is not Lightning Link, the company. They're, they're also picked up. But Matt Hoover, the YouTuber, had some sponsored videos and he talked about it and talked about it on his channel. That's a really, really slippery slope. And what scares me, and I was talking to Mr. Gunzinger, he made a great point the other day. He said the lockpicking lawyer's entire channel is about breaking locks and getting into locks and doing things that are potentially completely illegal. And this is a really slippery slope, and I, I, it's really interesting for me to be going that direction. Mr. Gunzinger really got me thinking about that. So my point is just to mention that, not to cover it in depth, is to say I have the court filings, the PDF. I'll put a link to it right down below if you want to chase that and do some more research. Next, now we're not talking about the actual forced reset trigger case. Separate from that, there are the two different force reset triggers, the Rare Breed and the WOT. They have a case going against uh, each other, one going against the other. I think there was a countersuit, don't hold me to that, but there was a forced, there was a injunction against WOT. My understanding it's been vacated. Reno May has done a full video on that if you want to chase that. So this is again, just like the Matt Hoover thing, just something to steer you in the right direction. And finally, even more good news, Chuck Schumer announced just yesterday that he wants another billion or a billion and a half dollars, billion and a half for the state of New York to keep the streets clean for the ATF. He's trying to double the New York state ATF's budget. That's what we need is the feds with more money to do more stuff. 
where's that money gonna come from? Because the government doesn't have any money. They don't produce any products or do anything that generates money besides printing it. Yeah, no, that's coming from us. So Schumer has decided that taxpayers should foot that bill. That's fantastic. So that is out there and it's done again. And usually at this point, I start waving my arms. Once again, it's an end around, a back door to gun control in the name of public health. And that is the challenge. The last thought I have of the day is I read somewhere on Reddit today, just a random user was, was asking the question, why are they going after the pistol braces? Why are they going after these dumb little forced reset triggers? And it's this, this Redditor said, death by a thousand cuts. It's not an original phrase, but it's got me thinking today about a little here and a little there, tax this bit too much, tax this too much, go after the brass, go after the powder, and it's death by a thousand cuts. Yeah, it's a mess. Let me know right down below what you think. Again, thanks for stopping by. Gonna be here all week, having a lot of fun. New month, a lot of new nonsense. It's gonna be great.